Hello everyone, thank you for joining another video. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and then hit that bell to make sure you get notifications on new ones. But as you can see, I'm camping out uh, for a weekend or first part of the weekend. I'm in Troutdale, Virginia at Rocky Hollow Horse Camp. Uh, had some friends that, that camped out up here, so I joined them a couple times. I don't, don't own any horses, but uh, that's the majority of what's what's here. It's just people come up to ride horses around Mount Rogers, Virginia. But today I'm going to hike on one of the horse paths just a little ways away from here. There's some falls. So I'm going to go photograph the falls. Uh, I'll go to them. I've seen some pictures in the, the cabin here. They're, they kind of look like Cascade Falls if you're going on a, if you visit on a Blue Ridge Parkway. So I'm going to go visit that today. Uh, take some pictures of it, uh, tell you how to get there, and so you see what it's like in case you want to come up here yourself. Uh, if you do want to come up here, uh, if you got a camper or tent, you can uh, space here. If you don't have any of that, they do have at least three cabins here. You can rent the cabins from them. Uh, so you rent the cabins and then and then uh, just head on, trek on out from here. There's lots of lots of hiking paths from here. So, but first things first, it's about 6:30 in the morning. So. Time to grab breakfast. All right, everyone. I've had breakfast, cleaned up after breakfast, so it's about 20 after 8. Gonna start on the hike. Um, just you know, I'm my campsite was probably about the very bottom of the hill here so i'm gonna kind of pan down you can see like all the way down there so so i chose to drove up here to the top top of the road here and uh it's kind of level to get to the trailhead here so not a lot of hills getting to it so i don't know exactly how long it's going to take to get to the falls so i'll measure it out so that way next time i come up here and plan another trip to it uh have a good indication of how long it takes to get there so but uh show you around here We've got the main entrance to rocky hollow horse camp and then uh that's a trail leading up there there's another horse path there's a bunch of cows there and then uh we're gonna walk down that way all right it's taking me about 10 minutes to get from uh, Rocky Hollow Horse Camp to the trailhead. Uh, it's on, on Rocky Hollow Road, and it's right where the road comes from paved to gravel and beside the greenhouse. So if you're coming up here, this is a good thing to remember. Uh, there's a berm here kind of blocking uh, people from driving up into it and stuff. So I'm going to kind of go around the berm, and the creek's right over there. I can hear the water running pretty good, so we're basically going to follow the creek all the way up to to the falls. And I uh, just want to also mention, as far as preparing for something like this, you know, I got plenty of water. I got a poncho. They're not calling for rain, but it's Appalachian Mountains. Kind of never know when a thunderstorm or something's going to just pop up out of nowhere. Got a small uh, first aid kit, a couple band aids, stuff like that. Uh, the owner of the camp. He, uh, he knows where I'm going, he knows where I am. I got a blaze orange hat there if I need to wear it, stuff like that. So uh, it's always prepare before you go out hiking in a place like this, especially if you're hiking by yourself or maybe just a small group. Um, make sure you got plenty of water and uh, take rest along the way, but uh, let's hit the trail. been just under an hour since I started uh, where I crossed the uh, creek once that actually led to an opposite direction so I took the wrong fork in the road uh, but I found the other path and it got narrower and narrower 
and I finally heard the falls. Uh, had to just go off the path just a little bit, but you can see the falls from the path. I hear them really good. They're not that big, but uh, like I said, this hasn't rained in a while. So I'm sure after a good rain, they're probably a lot more dramatic than this. Uh, a lot of out, outcroppings here and stuff. So I'm going to spend a little time here taking some photos and uh, see what I get. All right, you see it's, uh, it's not that hot out here, but it's really humid out here today. So, sweating a lot, but uh, when I pulled the camera out of the bag, everything wanted to fog up on me real quick. So, had to give it a minute or so, let it adjust to current conditions. But uh, right now I took, I put, got my polarizing filter on. I got it set to uh, ISO 100, F5.6, uh, aperture priority. It's giving me just a little less than, a, than two seconds on the shutter speed, it's coming out really good. But uh, one thing I'm starting to notice as the sun's coming up right now, let's see, and it's uh, about 9.30, uh, starting to get some light shining right on the stream itself right now. So I don't know if you can see that in here. So we'll give it uh, a couple more minutes here see what it's going to look like and stuff it uh it might just uh start to pop a little more here as the sun gets a little higher up in in the day i think early morning you're, you're not going to get a lot of sun in this place early morning uh afternoon you got uh good uh, tree cover here but some of that light's going to poke through the trees here in a little bit but uh, uh and when i'm done here we're going to explore up around a little bit it's a big big rock face here to work around All right, I've moved over uh, up a little bit. Get, kind of get this angle. I got my 10 to 20 lens on it right now. Uh, sun's coming out a little more, so it's increased my shutter speed a little bit. So I've gone up to f11. And as you can see out here in the live view, I'm getting some lens flare here. I don't have a lens hood. Put my hand out. That'll, that'll block it right there. So just trying another different shot. You know, don't always stand in this one place. When you come up to a scene, move around a little bit. Uh, try to get get it from different angles. Let's see what see what you can get. All right, got a little extra here. I'm almost at the trailhead. It's right there. So by the time I make it back to my car, probably would have been about a two-hour hike. Uh, I said if you do this uh, It's not a regular hiking trail. It's for horses. So it's kind of be moderate to to Probably uh, a little bit uh, heavy on it, but uh, uh, But still it's a decent little hike. Like I said, it's only about 30 minutes up to the falls if you know your way there But uh, on my way back, I noticed a mushroom growing out here. I don't have my macro lenses with me But I put my 70 to 200 on got it on the tripod so, and I'm using my remote for this. I uh, got it set to about F11 and uh, 100 ISO. And take a look at my subject here. And that's my subject right there. So the lights, the sunlight's kind of coming in and out on it a little bit. But uh, I'll show you what I've done here. I've got it on live view. And then on the live view, Kind of just zoom in on it there and then and then set your manual focus and then uh once you got it real good on your on your manual focus use your remote so you don't bump the camera then you've got your photo so that's a just a 
quick and easy little trick there uh, to get uh, photos like that if you don't have a macro lens with you or, or a macro filter attachment. Uh, so I'm probably back maybe about five feet away from away from that. Uh, don't have it quite set on on 200. It's just really really close to that. But uh, we'll wait and see how that looks back on on the computer on the big screen. But uh, like I said, uh, if you like the video, you know, like the video, like the channel, uh, subscribe to it, share it with your friends, and thank you for watching.